Well, hello and welcome to Long Eaton Stadium. This is our second meeting of the year. We've got the 50 car turnout. And heat run is coming up very, very shortly. Fortunately, the snow that was uh, coming down quite heavily this morning has eased off now, and now we've got a, quite a fine evening, although it is very, very cold. The cars are starting to roll now for heat run. The whites and yellows are in all the heats. And we've got the world and national points champion at the back. Looks like uh, we've got one, three, four, Wally Pittam on the front row. We've got two, three, six, Mick Ives. We've got Ray Williams. The cars are getting quicker and quicker now down the back straight. They've got a green flag now. The yellows are still out. They're still under starters orders. And we're away now for heat one. Already there's a few sparks flying there from one, two, eight and two, two, six. As ever, 77 Ian Platts putting on the style and number 96 Ian Glindaft has pulled off onto the centre green but starts racing again. The cars are barreling down to turns three and four there. Number 16 goes out wide. Andrew Newsom, I believe his name is. Problem there for a second for 172 Stevie Hodgson over a tyre. Smith were in sort of sorts of troubles down there. Wally Pittam has been spun around there and clobbered by number seven, Phil Bicknell. 380, Steve Kayser is spun around there on turn three. 96, Lindaft moves through the field. There, 16. Andrew Newsom spun around there into the mud. Looks like 26, Ray Williams, who's leading, but now 1 to 8, John Wright has passed him. Yes, John Wright definitely the leader now. As uh, 1 3 4, Wally Pittam climbs over the fence. Still 1 to 8, John Wright with 3 7 1, Shane Darrell into second place in the X Worm Room machine. Looks like uh, Mac Webster is setting his sights on Ray Williams, and he does. He moves down the inside there on turn three. So it's still John Wright from uh, 371 Shane Darrell, 226 Mark Webster, 73 Rob Cowley, and 29 Ian Higgins. One two eight from uh, three seven one from two two six from seventy three twenty nine seventy seven number one one seven two twenty six. Mark Webster nearly hits the fence there, but Rob Cowley has moved past him. Ian Higgins has in turn past uh, one two two six Mark Webster. As has John Wright, Pete Folding. Ian Platts and Pete Falling, should I say. John Wright is your leader. A bit of a scrap going now between 77 and number one. Number one passes number 77 and 172 is up with them. 172 passes number 77. And it's still 128 from 371. There's the leader coming through now, one to eight, John Wright. Dorrell driving reasonably well in the Wehrman car. Will he be able to catch one to eight, John Wright? Looks like John Wright's holding the lead. Rob Cowley still in third place from 29, from number one. 77 is quite a way back there now. And 172, Stevie Hodgson spun round there into the mud. Looks like uh, Shane Dorrell is now catching John Wright. He moves down the inside, uh, John Wright holds him off.
quite a bit of smoke coming from the number one car there. Looks like he's blown a hose. Still Shane Dorrell uh, up with John Wright. And Stevie Hutchinson spins it and gets going again, rejoins the race. Oh, problems down there. And we've got one right over down there. Big roll over there. So we've got the yellows out, there's a big accident there. Red flags. Yes, so Glindaft all okay down there, thankfully. A big spectacular crash there. So we've gone red now, looks like John Wright the winner. Oh there, we've got the winner there, one to eight, John Wright. Bring it into a stop on the uh, on the back straight, but he gets it going again. Now uh, the pace begins to pick up. Under orders, and the green flag goes down. Number 48, Scudder, Paul Scudder in the lead. Dave Willis in second place and Richard Johnson third. And uh, that's Jamie Davidson and Richard Mason off there already. And have incompleted a lap. Richard Johnson goes slightly wide there. Well, it looks to be uh, Paul Scudlin in first place. Jamie Davidson there trailing, and uh, Richard Mason too. Four, four, eight, two, eight, oh, sorry, into the fence there. Not much happening in this race at the moment. Next to Paul Scudden. Oh, sorry, Neil Scudden. It's still Dave Willis in third place. It looks like Johnny Goddard now in fourth, and Richard Brighton in fifth. Like the first of the blues is Danny Clark. And Dave Johnson goes through the puddle at the far end of the circuit on the back straight there. Not much happening here in this heat. 48 Neil's given, he's coming under pressure now from Dave Willis. Looks like Richard Brighton in third and Johnny Goodall fourth. And Dave Johnson spins it round there and gets taken by John Kayser and Barry Heath. And Paul Allison takes evasive action. And Richard Knight going slowly down the straight there. But it looks like Dave Willis in the lead now. And no, Danny Clark has gone into second place, pushing Dave Willis there in first. So Clark probably going to take the lead here. Danny Clark takes the lead. Looks like Johnny Goodall in second place. And the red's not really making any impression here in this race. So as the race goes on, it's pretty still at the moment. John Kayser getting into the thick of things there, and uh, Cartwright uh, holding everybody up and takes Dave Willis off with him. And a few, few cars off at the top end there. Looks like uh, 488 and Richard Knight and Richard Mason pulling off there into the centre green. 
So it's uh, still Danny Clark, but he's coming under good pressure there from Johnny Goodall in second place. Looks like a good battle, this. Clark in his, uh, his uh, folding copy, and uh, oh, but Johnny Goodall has pulled off. No, he's in trouble there, he's lost it. So Danny Clark, uh, the pressure is off him now at the moment. As Johnny Goddard has spun it, it looks like uh, the closest one to him could be Richard Brighton. Yes, it's Richard Brighton in second place. I think the uh, could be Frankie Whelan Jr. now moving up for the top five spot. But Wayman goes off into the fence at the top there, so I spot too soon. <coughs> Richard Brighton making no impression now on Danny Clark. Looks like Danny Clark's got this race well and truly. As we just got to the um, halfway stage. Spins there as Dave Bettisford goes down the inside of him. There's the early leader there, Neil Scoven, and Frankie Wayman's right front wheel is a bit skewed. Uh, but he's still carrying on round his junior Wayman now. Looks like it could be John Kayser in third place and Dave Bettisford fourth. There he is, it's uh, pointing inwards, is his front tyre there. Uh, looks like there's a fire, a, sl a small fire underneath Neil Scudman's car. Anyway, one more lap now to go for Danny Clark. Nearly gets caught up there behind uh, Richard Johnson and Frankie Wayman Jr. So Danny Clark uh, comes round to take the chequered flag. Danny Clark in Pierre 203 from, uh, it looks like, uh, Richard Brighton and John Kayser third. third. There's your winner. And Wayman Jr. drives it straight into the fence. got the winner of heat two, Dan the Man Clark. Ready to go on heat three now. We've had quite a bit of a rain shower. It's started to ease off a bit though now. There we've got some star Bobby Burns there. John Lund, Red Top. Also Kev Smith and Andy Smith in this race for the star men. And we've got a green flag now, and it's 3-3-7 into the lead. We're away and racing now for Heat 3. It's still 3.37 leading, and we've got Kev Smith moving past 91. Looks like 91's in trouble. We've got 98 Les Spencer going through there, he's a good driver. Leading the ex of Hot Stocks man, Keith Chambers. It's Kev Smith leading the Reds. And it's still 337 leading from 362. Lionel Shaw with a smashing new paint job there. Bobby Burns now leading the Reds. 
He looks like he will be coming under attack from Andy Smith in count number three nine one shortly. Still 3.37. Lionel Shaw's catching him up there. Bobby Burns fights his way past Kevin Thompson in car number 188. 3.62 puts a bumper in. Moves past the uh, 280 car there. Looks like it's still 362 Lionel Shaw from 98 Les Spencer. Then it could be 26 Ray Williams. Bobby Burns driving really well, made a break for it now from the rest of the Reds. Still 362 from 98, from 26, from 471. Kev Smith holding off Andy Smith there. Andy Smith makes a move but doesn't pay off. Still 362 from 98, from 471, from 26, from number 53. Halfway next time. So it's 362 from 98. We've still got Bobby Burns running third. Then it's 53. Lionel Shaw coming under pressure now from Les Spencer. Led Spencer, little tap there on the back of the 362 Lionel Shaw car. They're running wheel to wheel now down the home straight. Lionel Shaw still has the advantage though. They're coming up to lap a back marker there. Safely through. Looks like Kevin Thompson was the back marker. And there, Les Spencer puts the move on there, the 362 car. 362 tries to respond but doesn't work. It's still Bobby Burns in third place. He's gaining slightly. 98, Les Spencer makes a break now. 362, Lionel Shaw in second. 471, Bobby Burns third. 53, John Lund fourth. 64, Kev Smith fifth. Looks like Andy Smith's in trouble down there on the back street. He's locked up with Wayne Hanley for a second there. Just three laps to go now for 98, Les Spencer. Ninety-eight having trouble passing. Bob, uh, Will falls in car ninety-one. It hits him, moves him out wide. It's still ninety-eight. Then lead him from three sixty-two. Three sixty-two is catching him again, though. Just two laps to go now. Three sixty-two almost gets caught up in the wires there. Looks like Bobby Burns is going to pass him. So it's four seven one up into second. Will fifty-three pass him? 98, Les Spencer on the last lap now. John Lund moves down the inside of uh, 362. They're running wheel to wheel down the back straight. Lionel Shaw still has the advantage. John Lund tries to dish out some of the bumper work as 98, Les Spencer crosses the line. 471 second, 362 third. 53 fourths. So that's the end of Heat 3. Well deserved win there for 98 Les Spencer. And the Reds are out. There's the winner, 98 Les Spencer.
Stratus orders now. And the Greek flag goes down. Ashley Baum in the lead. And the Blues and the Reds barrel down into the fourth turn there. But it's Ashley Baum there in the lead in car 191 from 378 Wayne Hanley. All low in third place. Mackay's there with uh, Phil Bicknell getting hooked up all over his bonnet. The Reds though battling down into, into the fourth turn. Can we have a red top winner tonight? It's been nothing but blues wall to wall. So there we go. Wayne Handley challenging Ashley Bowman now for the but he cuts him off there, but Handley goes down the inside. First uh, red to make an impression is uh, number two Paul Harrison as he sends 3.43 Barry Heath wide. But it's still Ashley Bohm from 3.78 Wayne Handley so Ashley Bohm has got the lead but there goes Dave Johnson barreling his way down the outside as uh, Glyn Daft and Richard Knight get hooked up there and go towards the fence. Dave Johnson absolutely charging and up now behind uh, 191. Goes down the inside of him, so yeah. We've got a cast clean off there, can't quite see who it was. But Dave Johnson in the lead now from 378 Wayne Handley, 191. Ashley Bob. Could be uh, Mick Irons. No, it's uh, looks like Paul Harrison has moved up into fourth place now. Yes, Paul Harrison in fourth. There goes Dave Johnson. A real stock car racer. And Paul Harrison looks as though he's taken second now, so a rise from fourth to second in a lap. Not bad going there for the man from Rotherham. Uh, can he catch up to Dave Johnson? The blue top of car for the eighth room. Man from Clown Derbyshire. And Mackay spins it off there. And it looks like the gap is closing now between 383 and number two. And it's uh, still way handling in third place. It's like it's Richard Mason now in fourth. And uh, Andy Smith there. Two cars coming together there, looks like uh, oh, Andy Smith is out. And 2 or 2 Richard Mason. So Andy Smith's facing the other way on the back straight there. But now it's uh, 383 and number 2, very close together on this, on this lap. So we've got five laps to go. Johnson does seem to be holding him off as a car there. Ashley Bowen gets it sideways and always takes uh, Paul Harrison off. Paul Harrison was very lucky there. But it's still, uh, it's still Dave Johnson from Paul Harrison. Wayne Handler looks to be still in third place. It could be Franco Herman Jr. in fourth because uh, Andy Smith is lapped down. Dave Johnson now looks to have pulled out a bit of a gap from Paul Harrison. There he goes. Harrison now stuck behind the... Uh, it looks like 91 Wolf Warns. Three laps to go now. Two now for the leader. And uh, Paul Harrison does seem to have caught up to him again. Can he put on a grandstand finish? Or has uh, Dave Johnson just got enough in reserve to keep him back? Last lap now. Can, he, can Paul Harrison do something here? He's not quite close enough on that corner. Uh, 
Will Johnson have any problems with this back marker if one's in the back marker being Richard Mason and uh, Harrison goes in with the lunge there on the Johnson car but it doesn't come off quite and Dave Johnson to oh very close there for the lead looks like Dave Johnson just took it from uh, Paul Harrison so Dave Johnson new winner Thumbs up there from Paul Harrison. Dave Johnson. That's rolling now for the final. The rain has been coming down heavily now and it's still coming down. Looks quite murky down there on the turns one and two. We've got quite a big field. We've got a green flag now. The cars are off on lap one of the final. Track surface looking pretty greasy. Cars come in battling through turns three and four. So it looks like we've got 48 Neil Scoven who's leading the race. We've already got a spinner down there, looks like Frankie Weymer Jr. in the Finnegan car. A few cars down there, Ian Platts and Jamie Davidson. We've got a problem over down there as well. A few of the cars involved. So there's quite a lot of confusion about now on the opening laps of the final. Yellow flag is over there on turns one. Five and five, Frankie Owen Jr. has got a flat right rear tyre. Bad luck on him. We try and pick up a few positions now. It looks like we've got 362 Lionel Shaw leading the final. It's 362 Lionel Shaw leading. Looks like it's uh, 371 Shed Dorel in third. I think 337 is actually a lap down. Problem over there for uh, Dave Beresford and uh, Richard Mason spins right around there, facing the wrong way on turn three. Still 362 Lionel Shaw leading. He spun round though, right in front of us. So it looks like 371, Shane Darrell, who's leading now. Shane Darrell still leading. Lionel Shaw still spun round on turn three and four. Shane Darrell coming through onto turn three now. He's under pressure though from 383, Dave Johnson who has moved past him. Frankie Irma Jr. has parked up on turn four. Problem there for 471, Bobby Burns, he spun backwards and gets going again. Number five, Johnny Goodall, he's spun round and against the fence on turn three. It looks like we've lost Shane Darrell. 
few cars into the fence there hard. John Kayser and Les Spencer. We're looking for the leader, Shian Darrell. I believe he's in trouble. It wasn't Les Spencer who spun, it was another car, 337. 383 Dave Johnson has got a flat tyre there. He just rubbed up against the Johnny Goodall car. Kev Smith moving through there. Spun out wide. Two and three Des Chandler spun facing the opposite direction. Bobby Burns just avoids him. Yes, Shenderell spun away. It's uh, number one, I think, Peter Foley who's leading. 73 Rob Carley's just spun round there. Track conditions catching people out. It's number one leading. 371's back up at racing speed. 337's whacked into the fence down there under the Long Eaton sign. So Bez having a go at number one. I think Bez is a lap down. So it looks 53 could be in second place. I'm pretty sure that Beresford is a lap down. I think he lost quite a lot of time at the start of the race. And Foley's caught up there with a back marker. He's safely through, through though, and he's coming under increasing pressure from 260, Dave Beresford. I'm pretty convinced Beresford is that down a few laps. Folding jumps over the 362 Lionel Shaw car for a split second there. Beresford moves past him. Folding has pulled on a few car lengths now, about four car lengths to clear of uh, Dave Beresford. 53 looks like he's catching Dave Beresford. Shane Darrell is fourth, Kev Smith fifth. got quite a handy lead now on uh, turn three and four coming through powering his way down the home straight past the starter five laps to go now for car number one He clobbers into the fence there. So, Peter Fulton got a very handy lead now. Beresford, he's been caught slightly by uh, John London, car number 53. 371, Shenderell is a long way back in fourth place. Tyre moved out onto the racing line there. It's just clipped by car number 2 and 3, there's Chandler. Folding coming up to lap. Uh, Car number 73 of Rob Cowley. Getting very processional over these last few laps of the final. Three laps to go. Folding coming through now. And Lundy has spun right round there, he's facing the right way and got going again, still holding off Shen Darrell in car number 371. 64 Kev Smith has caught up with uh, Shen Darrell, lead dispatch in Fensford. Darrell holds him off. And he's pulled slightly away from Kev Smith. Folding on his last lap in car number one. Folding coming now for the final time now, right in front of us. Chicken flag at the ready and Peter Folding wins the final here at Long Eaton. 
260 finishes in second place, but we'll have to confirm that. Then it's 53 from 371 from 64. Bobby Burns has spun again in front of us. There's a the winner, Peter Folding, car number one. The weather is absolutely horrendous at the moment. It's a freezing cold wind and it's uh, snowing and raining as well. But just as the last night of meeting, uh, we're bringing you excellent action here. You know, bumper crop of red cars, red top cars. Yeah. Anyway, we get off for the road now. Wayman Jr. getting pushed away again by the tractor. Holding there uh, at the front to lead them off. Now as the pace begins to pick up and the green flag goes down. Sort of flying into the uh, first turn. Yeah, uh, one car goes off there. Looks like Fast Empty One, Bobby Burns. No, it's 371, Shane Durrell. And we got a car spinning in front there. No, almost. Oh, and he's gone off. Car 191, actually, boom. So. Uh, the car's going very slowly now on this treacherous track, it's greasy. <laughs> Looks like 48 Neil Scotland in the lead. Uh, 96 Glenn Daff looks to be in second, 1 to 8 John right third. And it's actually snowing here now at Long Eaton. Still leading in car 96 as he goes into the second turn up the top there. Comes up behind uh, 236. Oh, but Glendaft is in trouble when he's pulled off. Glendaft has pulled off. So it looks like uh, it could be too after Richard Mason in the lead. Car's going off left, right, and centre now. As, uh, that looks like um, 391 Andy Smith going backwards. pulls off, I think he was a leader, so... No, it's Neil Scoven in front of Richard Mason. So, the 48 Neil Scoven. And there isn't many cars left at the moment. About seven or eight, I would think. 
weather extremely cold at the moment. Cars just crawling round now. So now it's Paul Harrison in the lead. Car number two, Paul Harrison, there he goes, down the back straight, into turn three. Could be Dave Patterson in second place now. So three to run, it looks like this race could have been shortened because of the weather. Looks like uh, if Peter Folding's still going, he's going to get double, he's going to get a good amount of points here. There is Peter Folding. But it's Paul Harrison now with two laps to go. And Junior Wayman after him there in car 1515. Can he catch him and that evil handling expert finicking car? Junior Wayman going for it. Could be a grandstand finish here as he goes down the inside on. Peter Folding. So, Folding taking it easy now. And looks like Keith Chambers facing the other way now. As, uh, Look as Richard Mason avoids him, and there goes Bobby Burns, Fonswoods. So it's Raymond in second, and the checkered flag goes down, and Paul Harrison is the winner, Frankie Raymond Jr. in second place. So, not many cars left in that race. Eight cars altogether left. So there we go. Thank you and good night. for the third meeting of the 1994 season here at Longeaton. They're coming under starters orders. Coming around to turn three, and the green flag goes down. It's uh, Steve Kayser with Ashley O'Bowen. Steve Kayser takes the lead. Barry Heath getting slightly sideways there as the reds and blues bow down into the first corner.